What's up everybody? Uh, got a mail call today. So, what we got in the mail? Uh, what I've got here is a holster sent to me by the guys at Detroit Holsters. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing. We're going to have a little look at it, try it on, get my first impressions, uh, try to get some video of me shooting, and uh, just kind of an overall, what do I think of it? So, without further ado, Holster from Detroit Holsters. Fairly simple packaging. Uh, comes with certificate of authenticity and it talks about their holster company. It's all handmade in America. Detroit Holster would like to thank you for your recent purchase. Greatly appreciate your business opportunity to be your holster company. Uh, family owned and operated, satisfactions, grace recognition, email if you have any questions or photos, um, and it gives your item number and the person who made it. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little, uh, nice little touch to get something like that. What else we got? Got a, a couple of business cards. Uh, Actually, I like those. They're kind of cool, retro-looking. It's a good idea for people in the future to make your cards stand out a little bit different. Don't just make them out of your regular white card stock. It really stands out. I like that. So a couple of business cards. Got your uh, certificate of authenticity and describing about the holster. Now we've got... Nothing else here. Uh, we have our holster. Uh, this is just the emails back and forth. Single piece Kydex. Uh, laser engraved Detroit holster. This is supposed to be the uh, Detroit holster eight mile. Uh, adjustable cant straight up and down up to a 15 degree I always wear it straight up and down because I am a uh, appendix carrier uh, initial impressions it looks really well made it's a carbon fiber style uh, kydex it's got clean lines uh, everything looks pretty good on it let me uh, grab a pistol here for it It is a uh, Glock 43 holster, so fits good. That is, I mean, it does have adjustable tension, but that's pretty darn good right there. Let's see how it fits. So, like I said, I carry appendix. Locks in. Easily conceals under a t or tuck-in shirt, long sleeve shirt, little cowboy shirt, whatever you want to call it. Draws pretty good. Reholster's good. Let's uh see how it does underneath just a t-shirt. Glock 43s are pretty small, pretty easy to conceal. So I imagine this will hide fairly well. Uh, I only have my uh, have it on the outside of my tucked in t-shirt. My t-shirt folds over and hides it. So untuck. Yeah. 
Hide's good. That's comfortable. Sitting down, hunched over. I might have to play with it a little bit to get the placement exactly right. But that's pretty darn comfortable. I mean, sitting any way I can think of here on a little stool. Lean forward and back. So you can have another look at it. Yeah, it's a nice holster. Has a good clean draw. Nice little snap without being too strong. I said it is adjustable if you do want it to be stronger. It did have the adjustment on it, but I think it feels pretty great where it's at. Clicks in. Fits on the belt. Good. So, I'll, uh, I'll get some video put in here of me actually drawing and firing out at the range, trying it out. But, see, it's pretty well formed. It's got good clean lines. Fits well. You do have your adjustment there if you need to tighten it up. You can loosen these up here if you want to adjust your camp. I always carry straight for appendix. But, yeah. Nice ca uh, carbon fiber look. Clicks in good with no adjustments. So next we'll do a uh, little bit of shooting. I figured that since it was raining, I'm waiting for it to uh, slack up a little bit before I go to the uh, range to get some testing in with the Detroit holster. I figured I'd go ahead and run my errands I have to run in town, and I would go ahead and carry it. It's the uh, Glock 43 and the Detroit Holsters 8 Mile Holster. Wearing just a plain t-shirt. What you're seeing stick out here is my tourniquet. Hides really well. And a nice form-fitted t-shirt. So... We'll see how it goes. Just a uh, minor adjustment while sitting and my uh, pickup getting ready to drive. Uh, can't tell it's there. Just had to kind of slightly adjust it a little bit. Uh, not any fault of the holster, I don't think. But anyway, yeah, even uh, sitting in the just a slight adjust getting in and out of the car when you're stopping it's comfortable it stays hidden just need a slight adjustment over
just got home from the uh, range. Uh, my final initial thoughts on the uh, Detroit 8 mile holster. It's comfortable, it conceals well, uh, positively locks onto your firearm. You get that good audible and tactile click. Um, I don't have any complaints about it at all. I mean, tell the truth, it's a, it's a good holster. Uh, only time will tell. Uh, so I will do approximately a six month follow up on it and just see where we're at. Uh, if you see anything sooner, it'll be because of some sort of issue. Uh, whether it be, you know, something broke or, or something like that. That's the only way that you'll see one sooner. But uh, I'll do roughly a six month uh, follow up on it and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but as of right now, I give it two thumbs up. So go out and give yourself a uh, Detroit holster. 8 mile holster for a good inside the waistband uh, concealed carry option. Anyway, thank you guys. We'll talk to you later.